Hey people, Intrude here, welcome to a new Age of Wonders Planetfall run with the Revelations DLC. This thing adds a new secret tech, a new NPC faction and a bunch of other additions and tweaks. Let's head in there. New scenario, so I played like half a game and I'm really liking the capital world. We're going to play on very hard and medium with six players. If we head into advanced and look at the world tab, you see that the capital world cranks everything up to make it super frequent, which leads to a very fun map with lots of stuff going on. Part of the reason why the last game was so slow and we had like barely anything done at turn 60 because there was barely anything on that feral world. That's why I am going to tone down some things. High value landmarks are incredibly strong, so let's turn them down to normal. Teleporters will tone down to normal. Look at this. We can choose the NPC factions. Let's take growth off immediately. I am I think I'm going to stick to just two factions on the map. It seemed to be like one to three it would spawn with before. I'll go Paragon, because I haven't seen those guys yet. And Forgotten, which are new. And I am going to make friends with NPCs this time. Whichever one starts next to me. You can't be friends with both. Because if you if you do quests for one, it annoys the other one. I think we're good to go other than that. Let's select our commander. I've made him already. Here they are. Saivar Deus. We're going for a vanguard with the Heritor, the new secret tech. This is a name I got from the from an Astro Militarum Lord General that I thought was cool. So Heritor are Scions. Of a theocratic dynasty known as the Estec. Their ancient technology allows them to harness energy and prolong their lives. They want to reincarnate billions of followers that are in tombs and stuff. Fair enough. They drain essence and use it to fuel powerful abilities. Essence is super strong. Heritor in general seem to be super strong. They have entropy weapons, which is a new damage channel. I believe the forgotten NPC faction also use entropy damage. Well, some of them. Harness the power of essence. Yep, you kind of told us that already. Reincarnate ancient Aztec mines and they have strong attacks versus machines. Vanguard have firearms and lasers. So we're going to have firearms, lasers and entropy going on. Got drones and turrets, propaganda, weak melee, strong ranged. Lots of overwatching again, I think. Let's select you. Let's now choose these fellas. A Dvar Promethean seems fitting. Corvin Zelezo. You are in. Another Vanguard Heritor, nope. Got the same outfit as well. I oh, got fancy glowy eyes. I should have got glowy eyes. Uh, let's go for a Kiriko. We had Roto last time. What about you? Kiriko Synthesis? Sure. No, not this guy. You. A Voidtek Amazon Oljana. Firpako, okay. Syndicate Xenoplague, Nyla, and the last one. Nyla sounds familiar. Did we have that last time? Assembly, I guess we need. Assembly what? Void Tech? Do we have a Void Tech? I don't know. We want Claudius? Let's get this guy. Azer Stark. Celestian. I think we're good to launch. Valor and the lady is going to talk to us. Commander of the Vanguard Expeditionary Forces. Cryo sleep missions allowed you and your ranks of outcasts and adventurers to escape your past outcasts. and claim new worlds for the Star Union. But while you were sleeping, the Empire disappeared. You will need all of your combat and survival skills to face the forces that brought down the Union. The past is about to catch up with you, Commander. Alright, should I talk about my perks? I went for the Heritor Assault Equipment for my loadout, which gives us a Siphoner Staff doing Entropy Damage, and it also gives you Essence. Plays off that mechanic. Veteran, so we start at level 3. Colonist Cryopods, because it's just awesome to be able to annex the first turn. And Kleptomaniac, which gave, gave us enough points to get all these things. And we start with a free item. Or a free mod, rather. On our commander. I believe, yeah, we got Paragon next to us, so I guess we're getting Paragon friends. That's Cosmite right down there. Is that just a Cosmite pickup? 
Yeah, it's just a Cosmite pickup. Still pretty nice. It's not guarded. So, we got boxes of stuff. Imperial production. We got the Cosmite. Okay. Since we are... Um, the colonist cry cryopods also gives you a recreation dome, right? Yes. Which is awesome. Let's look at our army. We've got a pug. It's a support unit. A pretty good one. A single action uh, laser shot. Thermal damage. We've got blur cloud, which... Pretty good buff. Obscure. 40% harder to hit on something. And a heal. And a resupply to give once per battle abilities back. Not bad. And a bunch of troopers. They shoot stuff. They throw a grenade. Pretty strong tier 1 unit, I think. They can overwatch and stuff. And, of course, our owl, which is a scout. But the scouts are pretty decent in combat in this. Okay. You are going to grab the Cosmite. Actually, I should have done it the other way around. So now you... You can get there the first time. Well done. This is a, a research drop, I think. Got some production. Can't quite get the research on the same turn. So. Mm, I think I want to get you moving now. Go and say hello to the Paragons and you are not quite quite, quite going to make this attack, it turns out. So that could have been done better. Another change, we can annex places without a unit being there. You still need a unit to do um, forward bases and stuff. There's also a new like teleporter relay mechanic, which I have not seen any of. I completely forgot about it when I did my test game. Ostdon. Let's do some... Heresy. This is terror. Uh, yeah, I agree with this because this is a f no, it's an energy. We do have a really good food place here, good production place here. Yeah, I like production. If you start in like a snowy area, it's good to get food off that. I would like another trooper as well. So give me that, please. We can spend our first levels immediately. Archaeology. So this is the new system of anomalies. We're going to dip into this. Basically, while you're in the lit little text adventure thing, you gain XP per turn. This gives you more. And also, resource costs are reduced. It's good stuff. There is field medicine, which is awesome. More healing per turn out of combat. Essence Disciple, 2 XP for every Essence Charge you're carrying. So if you get 3 during combat, 6 extra XP at the end, which is pretty good. Uh, here's our Staff. There's the Energy Drain, which gives us an Essence Charge if it procs, and also gives the Energy Drain debuff. So every Essence Charge you have gives you 10% more damage, and Essence Drain gives 10% uh, decreased damage to the enemies. It's so strong. There's like no downside to it. Also, you can use the essence charges to do abilities and stuff. But we don't have any of that stuff yet. We got a free jetpack, which is awesome. I think, yeah, it starts on cooldown. Plus one shields. And an awesome mobility thing. It's pretty damn good. Mess this up, though. Already made a mistake. This is not a huge deal. Because it wasn't annexed anyway. This is, yeah, just tells you about an area. A low risk battle. Look at this new system. We can auto combat it. It's killed a bunch of stuff and then we can retry. Awesome. I wish they would backport this into Age of Wonders 3. So once you manually, manually fight something, you can't retry it again, which makes sense. Let's see if we can do a better, a better job than the AI did. And you often can. Once, I literally lost my entire army when I auto-resolved. And then I won the battle manually without losing anything. I think it was like a, a big AoE stun or something. That was a little bit unlucky. Okay, I can't overwatch with this guy. We can get that 
next level, I think. So we'll just defend here. Bring our troopers up. Get that overwatch going. Looks like they're being quite aggressive. And there's that pug. Hmm. It's nice to put him in a flanking position with that single shot laser attack. You guys, if you go up here, you can't overwatch, unfortunately. Maybe you can scoot over. Can you get there now? You can. You can get a single overwatch shot. Uh, yeah, we'll leave you here. You there. You get there. Was that the right area? We want more like, more like that. Do we use... Yeah, I think we use it in the first turn. Let's use it on these guys when we move them. Because they're going to be in the worst spots. And then we use this to obscure them. And we end the turn. They're going to create some weirdos. There it is. And those guys can detonate, so we need to be wary of that. Basically, no melee capability here. But hey, we got assault rifles. Why are you fellas not shooting? Seriously. Where was the overwatch on these guys? Were they really not covering that hex? I guess not. Got some overwatches over there. Okay. We can wipe you out with Deus and hopefully get some essence charges. Oh, we got a really good shot on those guys. Is it a better shot from here? It is. Enemy nice. Down. And we got two essence charges out of that. So now 20% more damage. You can also get a, a thing that gives you more shields for every essence charge, I think. From leveling up on that. Um, could get a nice flank from here. I don't know if it'll be enough to kill them, though. You don't have a shot on anything. From here you do. But I do want to move these guys back up into cover as well. From there you have no shot. From there you have a shot. If you go here, you have decent shots over there. Let's do that. Uh, I am going to go for this. It's a little bit risky. It's only 45%, it doesn't kill them. Where can you get a shot from? 67 and 48 over there. Let's see how you do... F well, you should kill this guy. Enemy Good. You no longer have a shot, so you need to go defense. You have a shot there, 48. Do we take that or do we overwatch? I don't think we take the 48, you know. Can we hit one of them? There we go. A hit and a graze, I'll take that all day on 48%. Can get up to Deus in one turn, and so can they. It's a better shot on these guys. A graze and a hit. Oh wow, they missed their shotgun. Ouch, didn't miss that. That means that that guy can't get in. Hey, Pug. Get over here. A nice flank. We can maybe grenade those guys. We'll stagger them as well. Oops. You're in a bad place now.
I need to kill you. Otherwise, you're going to overwatch. Hmm. Let's grenade him. Man, I wish it killed that guy. Let's not grenade him yet. Just chuck the grenade in. Oh, it doesn't kill any of them. I thought it would kill those guys for sure. Do that then. Enemy Which means kill. you need to get this kill, please, on three shots. Is it better from there? 45% for the cover. Should go here. In a risky place, but we can now. Yes, well done. We can jetpack with you. Oh, he's in melee overwatch, though. Okay, this is a green. So a jetpack there. Free action, and then we kill it. Okay, and I'll give us a. Th Extra six XP. They've never stood a chance. I think they lowered. I think yeah, you start with fifty hit points on on heroes now, which is lower, which is another reason why uh, vehicles are better. Take that energy. Gonna be a good energy district. Exploit it for energy, of course. They want me to exploit it for f for food. Oh, because of the climate and stuff. But it's better to get this shorter term benefit, I think. So go away. We'll do that. You are going to say hello to the Paragons. Salutations, Paragon. Our intention is to offer your, our aid. Enlighten us of your will. Serve the will of the Paragon. You shall be rewarded with favor. Fair enough. They're going to give us a quest. Ah, oh, it's miles away. They want us to kill some stuff. Give us favor, or relations rather, influence, energy, and production. I shall take all those things. You're going to grab this, which has partially revealed that area. There's just some science over there. It might be guarded, though it's not guarded. You're going to grab this. 21 research. This looks like it's unguarded as well. Creep forward and make sure. Nope. Just got it. Um, we have some coast. Terra's going to be pretty strong, I think. What is this thing? Charge station. Ooh, Cosmite is a dwelling. That's their dwelling. We need to find Cosmite for our first settlement. Colony, rather. A Cosmite drop. Go for that. Upgrade this guy. Uh, Essence shields. Plus one shield for each charge. That's pretty good. Since harvest. That's good for the first turn. I do want Watchmen as well, though. Degin's also pretty good. Just more resistance when you're in cover. Iron Discipline also. Immune to those sign number uh, debuffs and stuff. It's a tough choice. Probably Watchmen. Hmm. Yeah, give me Watchmen. Give me that Watchmen. Get our trooper in two turns. And, uh,. We've got 10 turns to do this. But we should probably head that way now. We can do some scouting on the way. There's only four units, I think. We should be able to take it with our stack of five. Research, nanite support. Nanite injectors are awesome. One of the best tier one defense mods, I think. 
a free action heal and it buffs your resistances and it also gives you the passive plus one defense. There's also rail accelerators. Where are they? So this. Here they are. Plus one range. Anything that gives you plus one range is awesome. Because it means you can overwatch at seven range. So the six. So uh, yeah, give me this. And society, of course. We want our frontier facilities to get those colonizers going. What is the dwelling called again? Kansu. Capital. Okay. So that's where we buy units from with influence. Once we get our relations up. Grab that thing. Uncovered the bubble space telescope. That's a bronze landmark. Um, look at this ruined city here. It's pretty cool. Use the pug to grab the research there. 19. We have an anomaly site. That's what they look like. We'll go for that. It should be small. Yeah. Small at the start. What are you up to? You're going to grab this Cosmite. 10. Is this a... Oh, it is a settlement. A Paragon Settlement. Oh, did it say... They want 60 influence. Oh, the, they have a claim on it, the Paragon. It's actually a Syndicate Settlement. Fair enough. Another dwelling over here. Palantine Capital. Is that more Paragon? It is. They're everywhere. Yeah, 60 influence. We're kind of far away from that. But we'd love to grab and keep them as syndicate as well so my reputation doesn't get tanked by, you know, slaughtering people. I'm going to go to this anomaly site for sure. Should give us a bunch of XP. Troopers out now. You can make your way over. This is a spawner, so I need to be a little bit careful. But we'll start this now. Our scanners have detected a faint signal of unknown origin covered by large clusters of fungal growth. You should carefully remove the clusters of fungi to extricate the source of the signal. Remove the fungi. It's going to take us three turns. You can get skills which lower that timer. Okay. So while we stand there doing that, we'll get XP per turn. There's our nanite injectors. Machines are not magic. Our so colonizer and stuff. And we get one immediately. Can we find some bloody cosmite though? What is this thing? Nuclear fallout. Does this... Oh, 50% more experience. I thought that was the one that gave you your movement points back, but it's not... Um, let's go down here. There's a teleporter. Can't quite make it though. There's a silver landmark here. Look at that. That's pretty nuts. We want that. For sure. We can't annex it with terror. Hopefully there's some cosmite around it. Even if there's not, we might want to settle here. For that landmark. Uh, we want the colonizer right now, please. As soon as you can. More military research. Can't get the rail accelerators now. Should we get our engineers going? Or start getting some Heritor units? We've got a siphoner. I don't think they get a tier 4 unit, Heritors. No. They get a high lord. That's a tier 3. Okay. Shall we go this way, get some Herator mods? We don't have any melee units, so that's not good. That's pretty good. Allows everyone to get essence charges. 
I mean, we're not going to have the Cosmite to mod stuff anyway. So it's probably get it to, better to get the Engineer. Engineers are cool. Society Research. Where is the first... There it is. To get more Cosmite per turn. I would like to get a Doctrine. Yeah, plus 15 food in your colonies. That's pretty good. Let's research that. And then into... One of these. Don't think we need aquatic stuff yet. Into energy, I guess. We've got an energy sector. Still uncovering some fungus. How much is there? You can't quite get there. You can get into battles in these things. Because when I'm trying to get this guy there. There's the quest units. Is that guarded? It's guarded. Wow. There's another anomaly here. Another silver landmark. I love these capital map these uh capital planets. Lots of cool stuff. Decisions to make. Pick up some research. Finding a lot of that. It's another colony. Uh, colonist that we can grab if we can defeat that. What's on here? Oh, the plus one level thing. That's good. I'm not finding any bloody Cosmite though. Pick up over there. Colonizer comes out next turn. This is a food one. It's also got... Anomaly and a teleporter in it. Yeah, I think we want to grab this one. Maybe you guys, you're just more orders. I think we come over here and we settle Lucian's bunkers because this is a nice sector as well. It's going to be a production powerhouse over there. This is also pretty... What is this? A hazard? Yeah, screw that hazard. This one is the play, I think. Unless we find Cosmite next turn. You get in there. Yep, next turn we'll uncover the next step. Is that a pickup that's guarded? It's not. Oh, another thing over here. Save the forgotten unit, a Serpion. Yeah, give me a Serpion. This is part of the new NPC faction. They've got all this entropy stuff. Got a melee attack, range attack, and this thing. A cone attack. Should we... We'll, we'll send it back to Terra, and it can join whatever hero we get next. Here's our colonizer. I see Cosmites. There's some Paragons on it. We need to ask them to leave. So it might be a little while before we can get that Cosmite. And there's the Bronze. Yeah, it's a pretty good... It's a good place to be. The Misery Blocks. That's where we're going. We want another colonizer as soon, right now, right now. Colonize misery, misery blocks and then come and con colonize this as well. Maybe we should get this first, because as I said, it's going to be a little while before we can get the Cosmite out of there. Well, I guess we can make a decision next time. We can uncover more of this and see what's up, because... I mean, you're not growing super far. Oh, I left this on the altar like a dumbass. So it's not the end of the world. But I want faster growth. Like that. Oh, that turns the colonizer into a three turn. Don't want to do that. Some more research. So many research drops. Where are my food drops? Is this food? It's energy. 
I'll take some energy. There's some production. I think these things are new, unless it's a capital world thing again. Imperial world, ruins world, whatever it is. Plus two morale when in your domain. Gives you some nice bonuses when you visit it. Lots more visit structures, I'm noticing. Uh, what is this? What have you got? Some more research. Probably a bigger stack of it, I guess. And... Hmm... You head towards that next time, I suppose. Okay, we can get a doctrine run in. This one's pretty good. You basically get faster production the more militia buildings you have, or defense buildings. And I always get loads of those because I want to be secure. But we're going to get a plus 15 food for sure. Going to take us, yeah, a couple of turns to prime it. We only have two op points. But that'll help. That'll help Terra grow. Message from the Paragons. You got another quest for us, eh? I mean, I'll take it. It's right there. It's pretty damn good. They tend to put the uh, quests near your armies, which is nice. Okay, we have located a very old mining facility from a time when the Star Union first contacted what would become the Dvar. There you see a fella. Remnants of a red core mining quarry. Prototype facility for the earliest DVR suits. Although the logo is different, the name Red Core is a revered name among the Dvar. It was the, this conglomer conglomerate that first pioneered the use of exosuits. So we... what? Oh, we gave us a free research. Okay. Delving deeper into the forgotten facilities, we've discovered that what appears to be very primitive tech and tools. Surprisingly, there's tech here that requires the use of Cosmite, though that element was a secret to the general population of the Star Union. Using our mature understanding of Cosmite, we think maybe able to piece together some of these broken prototypes. Okay. So we can ignore it and clean up the quarry. Or we can do this. It's going to cost us Cosmite and has a 50-50 chance. It probably gives you something better, but I'm going for the 100% in one turn. I think. We're going to clean it up. Got that free tech. You are heading back to Terra. You. I mean, let's see. Another silver over there. I haven't seen a gold yet. More research. Paragon all over the place around here. Um. I think we go here first. Because we should be able to... What was on there again? Was it some... It's a marauder unit. I can't remember what was on there. If it's something we can take. Hmm. We have 30 influence. We might be able to get a couple of extra turns of Cosmite if we go this way. Just send my owl over there. Before Engineers! The minds of my it's a cool unit. They can make turrets and stuff. But uh, we need a thing. Vanguard assault bikes are also pretty good. It would queue these things up. Want to be able to produce units for sure. You pick that. Is that going to help us? Didn't quite take a turn off of that. Um, definitely want to grab that other anomalous site as well. I guess we keep. We'll go over the water. Could be pickups out here. Minton. Oh, it's another settlement here. Awesome. Hold on. Is it going to let us? Is it going to let us settle there? It says it's a colony site, it must. So we might have two uh, colonies right next to each other. More military research. We can get the gunship, which is pretty good. It's a long thing though. This is good. Gives you stagger resistance. But, um... 
So we start going down the Heritorn line. Sure. What's this? Oh, this is really good. Go we'll grab that. You do the condemned to train operate, condemned to drained operation, and it debuffs the unit. And once they die, you get it condemned, and you get it permanently. And they're half decent tier ones. You can you can get a stack with them, you know. End that turn. Thirty-five influence. Is that going to be enough? Oh man, they want 55. They takes a lot to get them out of Cosmite. They love their Cosmite. But we're we're th we're there now. We're gonna take it. You. This is a Paragon, a uh, Vanguard. Sorry. 45. So what I can do is get a colonizer out of this instead of making it a colony you can turn it into a colonizer we got some research and production and this will become an abandoned quarry pretty good we'll agree there will be little benefit to wasting our time with primitive prototypes still the quarry is up and running again and will bring us immediate benefit so you probably got a cool devar unit out of it or something it's pretty good this turns into a very nice place for the for the other colony as well. Which will be... Oh, it's ready now. Get over here. Gift of the estate. Oh, it completed the tech for us. Awesome. Electronic mechanisms. Good stuff. Upgrade our commander. Archaeology expert. Takes a turn away from those actions in the anomaly. Which I really like. Essence Harvest is pretty good. Let's grab it. We really need to get our vitality up though. You're still heading back there. I think we get the first hero level 10. For 100 energy. Um... We are nearer the south, right? No, we're nearer the north. Let's keep circling. Keep expanding this circle of stuff. You, we're going to send north. More military research. What is this? Blessing of the Estec. 50% heal on strategic layer. And you get an essence charge. Reveals the location of the nearest anomalous site. We should be able to find them pretty easily without that. What do we want to grab here? We might have some Cosmite to mod stuff. And Shredder Bomb is pretty good. Let's grab that for zero turns. And then... I think this... I like that stagger resistance. Can be so strong. Got some good tactical ops to use now. Society research. Definitely want this for the influence and cosmite income on HQ. Once we build them, that is. The AI is completing things. Oh man, they got Pioneer. Didn't. F I was one turn away from getting that plus 15 food is up on all our colonies that's awesome and we've got that colonizer of course and you're growing next turn into six we need eight for the next annex and it's gonna be probably the food so we can grow even faster and then we'll grab that but we need to get these guys to leave we need a lot of influence to get these guys to all these guys to leave it's gonna be annoying do we do this one first or do we get the Cosmite first? It's a pretty big deal to start getting Cosmite in. It's a tough choice. Okay, we need to uh, take on these units. For the quest, that'll give us a, a 10 influence, right? And that gives us another 10. 
We could get another colonizer out of that if we get that colony. Tough choices. Oh, I should have autoed it to see if it came out alright. Oh well. You got some kind of crap going on here. Cluster mine launcher. 30 mines placed at random locations. Okay. I can't see them, which sucks. We're going to do that, which gives us an essence, right? Maybe it doesn't proc until next turn. Okay. You know the drill, guys. Sh shimmy up there and go into Overwatch. Go there. And you can't really get into a great position, unfortunately. And still overwatch. So stay here. You. Um, maybe this guy, I think, is the most exposed. So stay where you are. Obscure that guy. Oh, here are the mines. So we can see them, okay. Okay, there's enough mines. Every two turns, 30 mines. Are you mental? How long this takes? This is a new thing they added as well. All these uh, old Imperial defenses that go on. Okay, they are overwatching. Which I do not like. I can shred a bomb them. Condemn to... Drained. I can only do one of these things. I would like to get a drained. It's better to do it l later though, because the drained, they keep the mods that the unit had. I don't know if that's intended or not, but these guys, since it's an early army, don't have any mods. So let's shred a bomb them. It should. Yeah, it staggers them as well. I could hit two over here. Takes out one of the overwatchers at least. And bleeds. There's some damage. And I'll take it. You can actually get a shot from here. And I won't set off the mine right. Right. I have to get actually on it. I wonder if they can shoot the mines or something. 40% isn't terrible. But it's not going to stagger them. Where can you jetpack to? Jetpack here. Probably gets you shots on those trenches. I would imagine. Yeah, it might not be great shots though. Let's do it. 45 isn't terrible. Are you any more accurate? You are. Oh, you're a single shotter. Try this. Missed. Boom. Two hits. I'll take that. I will take that. You might be able to finish them off. Which would be awesome. I could also... Where's the range of my grenade? It's really not very far, is it? It's like one... Hex. I could... Go here and get a decent grenade. Why well, doesn't kill him though? Neither does that. Throwing a grenade gets them overwatched as well. You just stay there and overwatch. You're gonna try some 40% here. You can't quite get a shot. Let's move up. And overwatch, probably won't hit anything. Give me some 40%. Missed all three. Fair enough. Uh, you can go there and get shots. But that's completely out of cover. Oh, you can also go here. Avoids the overwatch and gets a nice shot. Oh, they'll shoot you back, will they? 
point. That was not bad. You can't get close enough for a shot. Can't really get into cover. You can get into cover here. But I want you central. So that you can heal if you need to. Just defend. Decent overwatch. Grazed me. They tried to knock me back. That's a close a close range shot that they have. Okay. Removed the bleeding and healed them. And then missed me. Ouch. That didn't miss. That sucked. You have your grenade. Double stagger these guys. Need to be aggressive here. Gonna move up to here. So I want to kill that trencher. It does expose them to this bastard though. You can't get anywhere because this guy's in the way. Yeah. Enemy kill. So now you can get a kill. Hmm. What can my pug do? Do this over here. I like that. Graze and two hits. The pug might be able to finish them off. It won't be a flank. Hmm. Let's get this kill. Enemy neutralized. Hmm. Can chuck a grenade and stagger them. Can't get a ki I can try and get a kill there. Let's go for it. Go on. Oh, you missed it. Well, the pug should get the kill now. Unless they miss, of course. Hold on. I don't think that guy has enough damage to kill anyone. I don't think. More mines coming in. So many. Is it really every two turns? It must get that completely full. He's going into cover. Gets our shots. We need to use our heal before we end the battle here. There we go. Do you have your jetpack? Nope. Couldn't quite get it done. But now we have this. There we go. Enemy annihilated. It was enough. They never stood a chance. I need to see. How much XP did you get? You got 10 XP. Objective complete. So we can sell the production, but I want the production coming in. I'll take it all. Thank you. Should heal up relatively well here. Is this a thing that you go inside of? Let me see. It is. I thought it was only the gold ones that you went inside of. It's a... Oh man, it's a battle. We can't take two tier threes. No way. I guess we're not benefiting from that for a little while. I thought it was only the gold ones that you had to go inside of. Still want to take it before someone else does. That's for sure. What do we do with our influence, though? Do we clear this site? Do we clear the Cosmite? Or do we get ourselves another colonizer right here? And then we go and colonize this. Hmm.
they wanted 55 or something for the Cosmite. Which we'll get when we do the other quest. Next turn I'll have to check some of those costs. Because this was 45 I believe. So we've got Judrin. You can't get close enough. To, oh, maybe you can. Yeah, you can ask him. 43 to get away from here. And we can annex it soonish. Hmm. What gives us the benefit the quickest? Again, an instant colonizer is pretty good. Might take us a little while to get over there though, because we don't have um, water. Got to queue that up. Because crossing this lake's going to be annoying otherwise. I think I'm going to go for the colonizer right now. Get that guy moving. Join us. Give me a colonizer unit. It won't even let me turn it into a colony look because Judderin is there. So fair enough. And yeah, it's going to take you ages to get over it. So what did we want exactly? Um, that's volcanic, so that's going to suck. City of the Broken, maybe? It does have a hazard in it, though. Hmm, maybe there's a better place somewhere else gotta check the south of this lake here hopefully there's no marauders that just nuke my colonizer oh, you can't even get there this turn look marauders right here I have to go and kill them because they might get to my colonizer but I don't want to attack that and whatever's in there so we just go here in coherency uh, so this is what 43 okay we'll get there let's queue up an engine uh, no because I might get a hero next turn economist unlocked this is good we don't have a slot at the moment. Builder also unlocked. Right, what the hell do I do with you? I want to send you over the water. It's relatively safe in there. I guess we'll just take the long... I can't risk going here and getting snatched up by some marauders. Go that way. It'll take you a little while. Okay, Judrin, you're in like the desert, so not a lot of great food around here. So we'll give you the bio farm. Get that going. Are you guys going to attack me? I know you wanted to. Oh, there's some sneaky things in there. We have a hero, William Civitz. Have you got a melee weapon? You do? Do we want a melee hero? Hmm. You've got a mod as well. What is this? Dark reward. I don't think we want a melee hero at 50 hit points. Melee heroes are really hard to use in this game. Give me another, he another hero, please. We'll take a couple of turns, which sucks. Uh, yep, yeah, you carry on. You also carry on into there. You grab this. You fight these guys. Should be able to auto this safely. That guy took a lot of damage, but sure. We'll take it. We've got seven turns to do that quest. I would like to knock out... Yeah, knock out these... What the hell is this thing? It's a tier 3. Oh, it's a forgotten unit, I think. Is it? 
immune to energy drain. Oh, that's annoying. Bloody hell, that's really good. Might just be a Marauder unit. Just a new Marauder unit. We'll go there next turn and try and fight it. Upgrade the Commander. Vitality. Martial Inspiration is good. Plus 200 morale. Yeah, I was going to get double Vitality, but that's pretty good. You are... We know that's 43. I don't know if the price goes down the more they like us. Sort of thing. It might. Oh, I want to take this as well. Next time I get another stack, maybe. You're going to explore the south of the lake. Does this lake have a name? Now we've got Preppy Beach and Marshy Seaside. There's some marauders in here, so stay in the water, maybe. Production for Terra. Let's upgrade the energy sector, sure. I mean, it's kind of sucky that it had no energy climate stuff in there at all. Still get it up to level 3 without those things, I believe. Maximum. Which is fine enough. I mean, the games usually don't go long enough to get, like, level 5 sectors and stuff. What is this? Go away. We met some Kiriko. Nice. I'm just going to be nice. I don't understand why this option is here. Why would you be a dick? Tanking your reputation just makes people hate you. There's no benefit to it. Um, sure, just go away. Where are you? I don't know where you are. Dwellings are very strong sectors. But we're not going to destroy them. They're going to demand some Cosmite. I'm just going to take it. I don't want to do a quest instead. So it takes time. Sure, give them some Cosmite. If you don't do that... The relationship res resets to zero, which sucks. Really sucks. Judrin can annex. Hmm. It's a good research place here. Need to get rid of those Paragon dudes, though. So maybe instead... Grab... It. This place first. Time stuck ruins. Make it in that for the energy. Do it. I'm going to try and fight this thing. That'll be in the next episode. What is this? Oh, just get a hundred opinion with other players. Okay. Warmonger unlocked. This is all popping up because I met someone. Colony established. Yep, yep, yep. Production ready. Good. Production ready. All good stuff. And next turn, uh, sorry, next episode we take that fight. A decent start, I think. Lots of cool stuff. Lots of things to spend influence on. We needs it. Uh, and next turn, yeah, we can start getting the diplomatic analysis wing for plus two influence per turn. That's going to help. Thank you for watching, guys. And I'll see you next time.